In this video, I'm going to walk through how to use GitHub Pages to build websites for your GitHub projects. GitHub Pages is actually integrated into your repositories, and I'm going to show you how to enable that on existing and new projects today. So let's get started by creating a new repo. I'm going to make this repo public, initialize it with the README as well. And just for some extra open source goodness, I'm going to identify a license as well. So now with the repo created, I scroll all the way down to the settings to the GitHub Pages panel, select my default branch, uh, and click Save. So now going back to the settings, after a refresh, I will now see there's a new URL in the panel, uh, which is going to be a link to my GitHub Pages site. But uh, to actually see how this works, let's head back to the, the README. So GitHub Pages is looking for an index.html file, but since we don't have one, it will default to using whatever's in the README. To confirm this, I'm gonna make a small change to this. I just added some necessary emojis, and now I'm gonna commit that directly to the main branch. And now if I go back to the GitHub Pages link, uh, you can see my emojis have updated. So this is really cool, but it could use a better look. So let's go back to the repository and make some improvements. Since GitHub gives me a URL to view my GitHub pages, this will make it easier for me to find and quickly see the changes live. So I'm gonna add this URL to my repo description. I, I did wanna take some time to explain that the GitHub pages URL is gonna be broken down by your GitHub handle as a subdomain, github.io as a TLD, and then end with your repo name. So this is the pattern you'll probably just need to remember if you ever just wanna look up your GitHub page really quickly. So I'm gonna save that in now I'm going to show you how to add a design to this. So I'd like to make the site a little better. And to do this quickly, I'm going to navigate back to the settings panel uh, for GitHub Pages and choose the theme. Uh, I personally really like Gradient, so it's not even a competition. I'm just going to click the first one. And now with my theme selected, I should be able to see this live. And there it is, my theme. So I do want to mention that these themes are powered by Jekyll and stored in the config.yaml in the root of the project. Uh, this is not a Jekyll tutorial, but I, want, I thought it was worth mentioning in case you would like to see more about that specifically or look that up. So I'm gonna head back to my repo and show you one more thing, uh, which is all my deployments. So all your deploys for your GitHub pages are stored in the repo uh, under the environment settings on the link on the right. Here you can see the current deployment as well as the previous deployments. So keep that in mind if you ever needed to debug or view a previous version of the site. Well, that's the basic of GitHub Pages. I uh, hope you enjoy getting your sites up and running.